Corden, we left off yesterday. Tell me where we left off. We left off halfway through a problem. Which one? Well, I think I got it right here. Let me see if I've got it. I think it was x to the third square root of 5 minus 9x. Yeah, that was it. Okay. And I don't know if we even started it or not, so I'm just going to start it. We solved it one way, and then you told us to take the log of both sides. Okay. Okay. Let me uh, pull up the whiteboard. Oh, it's already up, dumb butt. There we go. And, of course, the computer didn't shut down, so it's right there. So glad my IT is on the ball. Okay, can y'all see the board? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm going to take my handy dandy. I'm going to erase everything. Now that I've got that erased, I can take this and delete. You are impressed, aren't you? A little bit. I've, been, I've, I've trained myself. Okay, here we go. So the natural log <coughs> of y is equal to the natural log of x to the third times the square root of 5 minus 9x. If you want to, you can change this into the natural log of f, you know, f of x or y. It doesn't, doesn't matter. But this, since this is multiplication, this can be as soon as I started teaching, everybody would start texting. Natural log of x to the third plus the natural log of what? 5 minus 9x to the what? Because radicals and calculus do not mix. Okay, now start doing it now. You're going to do your, do your uh, natural logarithm property. Let me see who that is. I bet that's Miss Castles. No, that's, hold on. Mr. Brock. this to start happening today. Brock. B R O C K J. Says he's not online. I don't see him. Oh, there. No, that's Barnes. Mr. Brock, are you there? Okay, can you hear me? Can you see the screen? Okay. All right, so now that's going to be natural log of y. And if you use your implicit differentiation, you're going to have y prime. And then you're going to have 1 over y is equal to 3x squared over what? x to the third plus, well, we got to take the derivative of this guy. So that's going to be 1 half 5 minus 9x to the negative 1 half multiplied by What's the derivative of what's inside? Negative 9 over 5 minus 9x to the 1 half power. And now it's all consolidation. So go ahead and simplify. I'm going to do some canceling. 
You're going to do some simplification. Now you could bring that one half, you could bring that out front. It might make it easier. Let's do that and make it easier. And the only reason I'm doing that is because it would make it easier. Bring that one half out front, and that would be one half natural log of 5 minus 9x. And then take the derivative, so that's going to be 1 over y y prime is equal to 3x squared, that's going to be 3 over x, plus 1 half, and I'm just going to put parentheses here, that's going to be 5, I mean, negative 9x, and negative 9x over 5 minus 9x. And negative 9, so y prime is equal to, what is y? y is equal to all that stuff, so y is equal to, and I'm just going to put that in a different color, maybe orange, x cubed times square root of 5 minus 9x. And then I'm going to multiply that by whatever's left, simplified, 3 over x minus 9x over 2 times 5 minus 9x. Now, there may be, in future problems, there may be somewhere you can actually um, simplify a little bit more. But in this case, I'll, I'll be happy with that if you get it to that point. And just substitute that in, and that should be your answer. Okay, next one. And I did put your homework up today before class. So it's about 40 questions. And they include a lot of the questions that we're doing. Some of them are kind of repetitive of what we've done. So if you've taken good notes, you should be able to knock it out over the weekend. And we're still going to go over it tomorrow. I'm going to cover a little bit of inverse trig because you'll have a couple, couple of inverse trig problems on there, but it's not going to kill you because it's just plug and chug. It's formula. And you plug and chug the derivatives into the formula. y is equal to 5 minus 2x over x squared plus 4. And at this point, I would use the logarithm of both sides. It would make it a little bit easier. So take the natural log of both sides. I use the natural log. And you're not going to you're not going to have to simplify too much. You're not going to have to simplify the answer too much. Once you plug y back in, that's going to be pretty much it. Give you all a minute or two to do that. And hopefully you should start seeing it flowing a little bit better. And that's what you want. In this section, chapter 3, you want it flowing. By the time you get through with 3.10, or 3.89 really, because 3.10 is not that big a deal. When you get through with 3.9, you should be able to take the derivative of something pretty fluently. You should not be sitting there staring at it for 15 minutes, the first step.
I'll take my notes with me. Cause... All right, so natural log of y, I'm just going to start it off, is equal to the natural log of 5 minus 2x over x squared plus 4. And of course, that's going to be natural log of y is equal to the natural log of 5x, 5 minus 2x minus natural log of x squared plus 4. And I just put that in parentheses just to kind of tell myself, you know, that's going to be the, the, the what's in parentheses is going to be the denominator. So that's going to be 1 over y times y prime is equal to, well, that's going to be negative 2 over 5 minus 2x minus, and this is going to be 2x over x squared plus 4. <coughs> now, of course, I want to get rid of 1 over y, so I'm going to multiply both sides by y. And I'm going to color that y. If I can find my color, I'm going to color that Y orange. And that's basically going to cancel out right there. And that's going to give me Y prime is equal to 5 minus 2X over X squared plus 4 times negative 2 over 5 minus 2x minus 2x over x squared plus 4. And the only way you would be able to get that, and that's still not going to work because you're going to have, you, would, you wouldn't, just leave it there. Now, of course, if you wanted to do that by the quotient rule, you could, but there's going to be a lot of, you're going to have a lot to do there. So I'd probably, I think they're wanting you just to use the natural log when you can. I think this is the last one I've got. And then I went through your homework, and I just did one column of your homework. I just pulled out some, some problems that were in the columns. And just, we're going to do those. And that way you'll be prepared to do your homework. So, why? I wish I knew why this thing did this. I think the calibration on the right-hand side is all. Because when I have it on the left-hand side, I meant the, my right-hand side, it acts all right. But when I put it on the left-hand side, it acts crazy. I would asked to get it fixed, but it'd take two years to get it fixed, so it only takes ten minutes to calibrate it. So I'm I'm sorry, I should have said that. Mr. Swords, no disrespect intended. X squared you need to listen, he's passed out. Six X or six Besides, y'all not going to talk to me anyway. I don't know why I'm, even, I'm talking to myself. 6 plus 3x to the fourth power over cube root of 9 minus x squared. And I did take the natural log of both sides. Now, this is another one of those problems. If you can do all of this fluently, then you shouldn't have any problem on the homework or the test. So go ahead and take the natural log of both sides. Looks like Pendleton finally logged in. They ain't going to say nothing. They're just going to sit there. You have a work email.
Miss Castles, are you there? like we lost some people. Hmm. Hey Miss Castles, I tried to uh I tried to call you in a couple of times and it said you were offline. Yes, yeah, sir, thank you for bringing me back. I don't know what was wrong. I guess it was the internet cuz I kept trying to answer and it said it was connecting but would never load all the way. You have any Russians that live around you? Uh not that I know of. Okay, well, watch out for that white van. <laughs> Let's Okay, now if you see on this one, you not only have division, but you have what? Multiplication. So most of you are probably going to what? Quit. Quit. Don't even, don't even try it. This is the one on the test you leave what? You don't even like because you don't know what to do. Well, that, we're not going to do any calculus yet. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is rewrite it. over 9 minus x squared to the one-third power. Now I'm going to take the log of both sides and I'm going to do two birds with one stone. I'm going to go ahead and split it up while I do it. So the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of x squared times plus the natural log of 6 plus 3x to the fourth, and I'm just going to put brackets around that because that's the numerator, and then what happens? Minus what? Minus 9 minus x squared to the one-third power. I'm sorry. Natural log. Yeah, natural log right here. Uh, minus... Hmm. Natural log of, I shouldn't put that bracket there. Should I erase the whole thing? Minus the natural log of 9 minus x squared to the one third power. Okay, now. Of course, you're not worried about the left-hand side. You can do the left-hand side anytime. Let's not worry about the left-hand side. Let's focus on the right-hand side. So we're going to take the derivative of everything. You could pull the 4 and the 2 out and the 1 half third out if you want to. Let me see if I did that. I don't know if I did that or not. It doesn't matter. You can do it either way. I did. I pulled them out. So that's going to be... 1 over y, I'll go ahead and do that, y prime is equal to 2 natural log of x plus 4 natural log of 6 plus 3x minus 1 third natural log of 9 minus x squared. All right, now, finish it. Mr. Swords, did you ever come back or wake up? He's still not in here. He's a loser.
Well, chances are he's working. He actually, you know, when somebody has problems with the computer or technology, he actually goes and fixes it. What a concept. <coughs> just like I read the article today that people were just so surprised that Chick-fil-A is training their employees to say yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am. And thank you, and yes, sir, and no, sir. And then they can't figure out why Chick-fil-A is number one. <laughs> I ain't kidding you. We got some dumbasses in this world. I ain't kidding you. Yep, I'm going to get me a business, and I'm going to tell everybody, I'm going to tell everybody to have an attitude with every customer. Cuss them out. That's a thing. And, you know, they come up to return something. What the hell you want? How long will that stay in business? Duh. It's actually pretty popular. That's a thing out of dying. I know, down days. at the beach. You get, that's, I think that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Excuse me. But I, I, I've heard about it being down at the beach, and you get cussed out. and I, 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 I don't think I could handle that. Maybe if I was drunk, maybe if I had a, maybe if I had three or four in me, I could take it. Maybe. Is that what you're talking about down at the beach, Miss Sterling? Was that Miss Sterling? Who was that? I guess. I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just showing my age. I guess I'm just, I don't know whether it's the age or the Marine Corps in me. One of the two. I went and got my hair cut today, and I just, two guys walked in, and they mm, I just kept my mouth shut. Like I'm just going to start cutting my own hair. Hey, I did that in the desert. But you didn't have to do much for high and tight. Anybody have any idea know what I'm talking about? No. One or two people, maybe. Yeah. Y'all, y'all do know what a desert is, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a beach, and and the Scorpion King is there with the pyramid and the. Miss Cusmus, we had a test today. You got a zero, so you're going to fail the class. Damn. What you get for not being here? Wasn't well, my fault. Oh, yeah. Let me guess. It was the Russians. Was there a white van yeah. involved? Yeah, SCDOT. Mm hmm. They tell you how to vote? Beat you in the head? No. DOT, did you get pulled over? No, they're fixing the roads or something. I don't know. Uh, I sat in, tra in traffic on a two lane for 30 minutes. Well, Miss Gusmus, you should have taken that into account. You should have known that. You should have checked your internet for, uh, what's it called? Traffic report or whatever. Delays, traffic delays. Yeah, you should have checked for that, Miss Gusmus. Well, I did. That's why you got a zero on the test. Oh, it was an easy test. Everybody made 100 on it except for you. Boy. Yeah. But that's life. One over Y times Y prime is equal to two. And I'm just going to put brackets right here, and that's going to be one over X plus four and brackets here, and that's going to be three over. 6 plus 3x minus 1 third brackets, and that's going to be 2x over 9 minus x squared. Please make sure I didn't make Let me check my, I don't know why I don't follow my notes. I don't, know, I don't even know why I write 9 minus x squared, 6 plus 3x, yeah. Now simplify 1 over y times y prime is equal to 2 over x plus 12 
over 6 plus 3x. Oops. And am I worried about am I worried about canceling right now? No, I'm not worried about that right now. Don't get the cart before the horse. Just worry about getting everything done correctly and hopefully not making a mistake, which I do hope all the time. And that one third is going to be 2x over 3 times 9 minus x squared. I only see one thing that can pretty much be simplified, and I'm not going to worry about that. Like I said, if you get it down to that point, I'm not going to worry about it. I didn't even worry about it in mine. Now, there's one more step, of course, and we know that we've got to get rid of this 1 over y, so I'm bringing in my orange marker, and I'm going to multiply that by y, so i got to multiply this by what? Mr. Heber, uh, before you keep going, yes. um, when you did the derivative of the natural log of y minus x squared, shouldn't it be negative 2x? Y minus x squared. Where's y minus x squared? Or not Nine. minus x squared. 9 minus x squared. It's the line right above negative. the Negative. It should be squared. negative 2x. Okay, thank you. Is that what you were saying? Yes, sir. Thank you. Of course, that's going to make that positive. Thank you. I would have called it when I looked at my bag of notes, which I don't have it currently. Yeah, that last one's supposed to be, yeah, the last one's supposed to come out to be positive. Okay. So that y, and that y is x squared times 6 plus 3x to the fourth power over, and you can leave it one-third, or you can do cube root of 9 minus x squared. But there's nothing else you can do, so that's just a formality. And you can leave that as a negative, or you can change it. We'll do that in red. You can have a negative negative, or you can do that, put a plus there, either one. Now, how else would you do that? You'd have to do the product rule, and then you'd have to do the what? The quotient rule. Dang old whips and chains. I think I'll take the natural log of both sides. Okay, now I'm going to go backwards, and I don't know, I really don't know if any of these come out to be the same that we've gone over. I think I've got a couple in here. But I'm going to go backwards and do the hardest ones first, so that way if we run out of time, we'll be doing the easy ones, okay? And these are from your homework that I loaded probably around 1 or 2 o'clock, somewhere around there. I'm looking to see what time it is, so I'm going to go from the back. So, let's do this one. This is... Both of these problems are like 3.934. So this is number 34 on your homework, on your online homework. I got two of them. I did two of them. And I really don't know if, like I said, I really don't know if I've done these or not in the class, but sometimes you get lucky and they do match up. F of X is equal to X to the 10th times the cosine of 2x. Take the log of both sides. Go ahead and work on that one. I'll write the other one on here. f of x is equal to x to the x squared power. And this is what I say, 34? 3.934. So this is like number 34 out of 40 on your on your homework. Now on the second one, remember the 
property, and I'm going to put note, B to the X is equal to E to the natural log of B to the X, which is equal to E to the X natural log of B. <coughs> Oh, Hubert said to tell you that you suck. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Miss Sterling. Thanks for passing that along. Yeah, I was wanting to get some, you know, information on calibration on this thing. But yeah. I also That's told them that you know when you get a you get a computer that doesn't work at the Easley campus, you you usually go fix it. Right. Not wait two or three days or whatever. Yeah, I'll try. But yeah, calibration is part of what I'm wanting to have happen when those black things get installed. Yeah, so I just noticed when I'm writing on the left hand side, my left hand side, it starts to act quirky versus on the right hand side. So that's a calibration issue. That's right. Yeah, tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow we will do nothing but uh, trig problems. Inverse trig, probably do three or four. And that will be plenty enough for you all to do your homework as well as test. I'm going to set up both of them in case you got anybody in here staring at it. Natural log f of x, I'm not going to do that. Natural log of f of x equals natural log of x to the tenth time plus the natural log of cosine 2x. And natural log f of x is equal to 10 natural log of x plus natural log cosine of 2x. And yes, I'm putting parentheses around there because you have to remember that one. Now, I haven't, even, I haven't done any calculus there. That's all algebra. And this one, since f of x is equal to x to the x squared, we've, you've got b of x is equal to e to the natural log of b of x, and x, then I can rewrite that as f of x is equal to e to the natural log of x to the x squared. And then I could bring that x squared out, and that would be f of x is equal to e to the x squared natural log of x. There. Now, I've done the algebra 
for you. Now you can do the calculus. And I will give you all an extra day, Monday, to turn in questions to go over on 3.9. So Monday will be, you know, go over homework questions on 3.9 and 3.10. But 3.10, I would focus, if I, would, if I was you, I would focus on 3.9 because 3.10 is just going to be like six problems. It's much more important that you understand how to do logarithms and exponentials than you do plugging and chugging into trig, inverse trig functions. And you will see those inverse trig functions, but all you have to remember is the formulas. So that's why I'm not too concerned with them. So what is the derivative of f of x? That's going to be f prime of x over f of x. If you did y prime, you would have to do, or, you know, y, you would do 1 over y, y prime. We're not, we're dealing with f of x, you can do it this way. Is equal to 10 times 1 over x plus, be careful here, what is the derivative of the cosine of 2x? I'm going to put... Negative sign. Hold on. Negative sign. I'll put blue parentheses there. Okay, so that's going to be negative 2. I'm going to put a negative 2 right there. Sine of what? Sine of 2x over what? Cosine of 2x. Now, be careful here. Don't start, don't start changing stuff, okay? We're not finished because you still got to put in that x to the tenth and you have that cosine of 2x is going to cancel. So just hold off on trying to change stuff, okay? So that's going to give us f prime of x over f of x is equal to 10 over x plus or minus 2 sine of 2x over cosine of 2x. Now how am I going to get rid of dividing by f of x? Multiply by f of x, Hubert. And if you do it on one side, you got to what? Do it on the other. And what is f of x? That, Hubert. That's right, class. So I'm going to take my handy dandy orange marker and I'm going to go out here and I'm going to say x to the 10th. I'm going to erase this. 
and I'm going to put x to the 10th cosine of 2x. Now I want you to distribute that and see what you get because the answer is going to be f prime of x. So go ahead and finish it out and do your canceling and see what you come up with. And that's going to give us, and I'm going to write everything out because, you know, it kind of helps some of you. So that's going to be x to the 10th cosine 2x over 1, x to the 10th cosine of 2x over 1, and that's going to be 10 over x minus negative 2 sine of 2x over cosine of 2x. Now what's going to happen? Well this x is going to make this a what? A 9. <coughs> and this cosine 2x is going to cancel with this cosine 2x. And the final answer is going to be f prime of x is equal to 10x to the ninth cosine 2x minus minus is a plus 2x to the tenth sine of 2x. Now do it by the product rule. Because this is one time that the product rule is probably going to be easier than taking the log of both sides. What do you mean, Hubert? Well, first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So I'm going to erase this. And I'm not even going to erase everything before because I don't think it's going to be that much. It might. First times the derivative of the second. The derivative of the cosine is what? Negative sine 2x. And then what's in parentheses? 2. First times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. That would be 10x to what? Ninth. Well, that negative, that negative 2 can come out. Negative 2, x to the 10th, sine of 2x plus 10x to the 9th, cosine of 2x. Is that what we got? Yeah, that's what we got. 10x to the, okay, we don't have a negative. Why don't we have, we should have a negative here. That should be a positive. Why is that? Somebody check my sign because I've got 10, 9x. There's a sign wrong somewhere. You shouldn't have put the 2 negative. I'm sorry, say again. Bottom. From the very bottom where you finished it the first time, that 2 at the end shouldn't be negative. Thank you. Yeah, I, the, the derivative of 2x is not negative 2. Thank you. 
So that should be a that should be a minus two f. Yeah, thank you. Minus two x. So you see, you get the same answer. And of course, how do you know what to use? Well, that's up to you. How do you know how to use your pinky to play a certain note on a guitar or a on a piano or a saxophone or a clarinet? How do you know that? What? Pra practice. Holly, that's asking a lot of y'all. Could you reshare the board? My internet cut out. What'd you say? I said, could you reshare the board? My internet cut out. Tell you what, everybody's having trouble with these Russians. It's not just me. Okay, I just sent it in. If it doesn't work this time, I'll have to bring you'll have to X out and I'll bring you back in. Huh? Oh, I figured. What time is it? How much time I got? Okay, well we got you have Miss Miss Rowland, was that you? Yes, sir. It's still not working. It's fine. Okay. Let me bring you back in. It only takes a second. Okay. Just X out, okay? Yes, sir. Things I do for y'all. You're welcome. That's okay. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, see if that'll work, Miss Rowland. If she comes back. There we go. It's working now. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's get this one. This one won't take too long. The only thing you got to remember is the chain rule and the product rule. So. We've got f prime of x is equal to, what's the derivative of e to the 2x? e to the 2x. But you got to remember, this is what? In what? Parentheses. So we'll go ahead and write e to the x squared natural log of x. But now we got to multiply it by the product rule. First times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Okay, so work that out. And that's all that's going to happen. There's not a lot that you're going to be able to do after that. F prime of x is equal to e to the x squared natural log of x times, well, what's x squared over x? x plus 2x natural log of x. Now, what's in common with x and 2x? x. So I'm just going to do f prime of x is equal to e to the x squared natural log of x times x 1 plus 2 natural log of x. Okay, I'm going to erase the cosine, dude. I'm going to erase him. What does the word aesthetics mean? Make something look pretty. Or, I'm sorry, pretty, depending on where you're from. So we got to make this look pretty. So what do we do? Well, what is e to the x squared natural log of x? Or look up to your top up here. What did we say e to the x squared natural log of x? What did that turn out to be? x to the what? Or e to the what? I'm sorry. Be x to the x squared. All this right here is equal to x to the what? x squared times x to the 1. 1 plus 2 natural log of x. 
And what can you do with that e x to the x squared and that x to the first? What can you do? Algebra. Pre-algebra. We'll just sit here and be quiet, Hubert. F prime of x is equal to x to the x squared plus 1 product rule of exponents times 1 plus 2 natural log of x. And that's number 34. I do want to cover this one because there is a little jolt in this one that you got to remember. What time is it? 412. Sorry, what? 412. 412. 4-12. Got eight minutes before some of y'all start convulsing. Or is it eight plus five? Is it 25 or 20? Oh, sorry. <laughs> F of X is equal to 6x to the fifth now why does this cause a problem anybody see something that looks strange the natural log is squared yeah and how many of you have seen that before I didn't think so. All right. Now you need to write this down because you're going to see this again. Natural log squared of x, and you're going to see it with cosine also, with trig functions. If you see a square right behind the, that means that the whole thing is what? This does not equal natural log of x what? squared. Make a note of that because some people will mess that up. So let's paint this. And I hardly ever use a red highlighter. It is not that. There is a difference. Now, if you take the derivative of this, if you take the derivative of the natural log of x times the natural log of x, and you use the power rule, natural log of x times the natural log of x, first times the derivative of the second, which is 1 over x, plus the second times the derivative of the first. What is, what is, put a 1 here. What is one box of crayons plus one box of crayons? Two boxes. Two natural log of x, one over x. Okay, now I want you to write that down. I want you to put a cloud around it. And I want you to highlight it because you've got to be careful when you see the ln squared because some of you will change that into natural log of x and the x is squared, and that's not the same thing. Because if you do that, what is the derivative of the natural log of x squared? 2x over what? And that is what? Not equal to that. So just throw that in there. Now do the problem. And there is no natural log, you just what? Product rule. You could take the natural log of both sides if you wanted to. I don't know if it'd be more work or not because I haven't done it. So f prime of x is equal to first times the derivative of the second. Well, we just said the derivative of the second is that down there, not this. Derivative is 2 natural log 
of one over natural log of x times one over x. And if you wanted to put two over x natural log of x, that's fine. I don't care. Okay, I really don't care about that. Plus the second times the derivative of the first, which is 30x to the fourth. So f prime of x, I'm going to let y'all finish it. Shouldn't take you but a minute or two to finish it, because all it is is algebra. It's not much algebra, it's a lot of exponential cancelization, that's it. Anybody Pendleton had calculus one before? Yeah. Did you have it here, Miss Gusmus? Yes. How was it compared to I mean how is it now compared to the way it was before you took it? I mean before. It's easier because I know what's what things are supposed to look like. Do you think it helps with the algebra review? Do you think it helps banging the algebra or are you Think it helps oh, yeah. just drawing out the calculus. The I don't know. Depends on the problem. Depends on the problem. Anybody yeah. else had had calculus before and didn't do too well in it? Yep. Yeah. How about you, Miss Wilson? How is it now compared to what you went through? Significantly better. He also skipped steps and wouldn't tell you how he did it. He just right. said he solved the problem, and I was like, well, I should kind of learn how to do that too. Well, you know, I always told my professors at Clemson, and they used to get so pissed at me, they would say, and, but listen, I was Billy Bob Redneck when I was up there. I'm polished and refined now. But I would say, well, if I knew the material, I wouldn't be in the class. Yeah. I and, you know, so. this is not a research university. And some of, you know, you know, some of our teachers that couldn't make it at a research, I'm sorry, that, you know, think this is a research university. They, they just need boyfriend or girlfriend or something. They need something. I don't know who you had, but there, there's so many teachers that believe that students know more. If they knew the material, they wouldn't be taking the course. Yeah, only six people passed his class. How many? Six out of, like, 28. Yeah. And then let me ask you something. Am I not right when I say that 80% of calculus is algebra? Yeah, and he skipped the review for algebra. He just went yeah. right into pre-calc. Right, well, and most of us haven't had algebra since, like, what, eighth grade? Yeah. Yeah, I took yeah and some of you. As, Go ahead. I took calculus one as a junior in high school, and our teacher kind of skipped the review for algebra. So, like, it was basically all high school students taking this college calculus class, and we would just all have to review the algebra part on our own at home. Yeah. Mm -mm. Well, I, I put it. I put all my eggs in that first unit because if you can do that first unit, then the rest of it will go a whole lot faster. Yeah. And like now, when we get to unit three next week, unit three is going to be like one class, and then we're going to spend the rest on unit yeah. four because the one class is going, we already did it. We already did the increasing and decreasing the inflection points. We've already did the first and second derivative. We've already done that. So anyway, I just, I just wondered because y'all don't ever talk to me. So I just wondered. All right. So now we've got six X to the fifth over X times two natural log of X. And then this is not going to do anything. This is just going to be plus 30 x to the fourth and you can write that as natural log of x quantity squared or you can write plus 30 x to the fourth it, that creeps me out right like that i can't stand to write it like that I, I don't like it like that and then this the x cancels that leaves the four that cancels out six times 12 so equals 12 natural log of x y'all check that make sure that's what y'all got Look at my notes. I think that's what I got. 12x to the fourth natural log of x. 
plus 30x to the fourth natural log of x quantity squared. Now the reason I wanted to show you that when I know time's up, the reason I wanted to show you that is this over here. Because if I gave 10 of y'all this question on the test, five of you would change this to that. So don't make that mistake. Okay. I have no idea what time it is, but I kind of feel like it's like 20 after. What time is it? Should it be 12x to the fourth? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. I just delete things. That's all. I'm dyslexic. I guess I'm half dyslexic or something. I, I eliminate stuff. All right. Thank you. Now let's go to the handy dandy. I think I started from the top the other day, so I'll start from the bottom this time. Shut this off.